Hello everyone, welcome to Walk in Victory Podcast. Hey. I'm your host, David Randolph. And your co-host, Tay Randolph. Uh, today we're going to do our first episode entitled, Godly Marriage. Um, Tay, do you have anything that you would like to say to our viewers and listeners? I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome those who are new. Welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in and may you be encouraged and empowered by today's message, podcast message. All right. We have uh, two verses of scripture that we would like to read in your hearing. Um, coming, one, The first one is coming from uh, Mark 10 and 9. It says, Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. And if you would like to read 1 John 4, 8, um, 8 through 10. The person who doesn't love doesn't know God because God is love. God has shown us his love by sending his only son into the world so that we could have life through him. This is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the payment for our sins. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> As you all know, we are considered to be uh, newlyweds. And our motto, our uh, saying at the home um, uh, is... Teamwork. Makes the vision work. Yes. Meaning that... In order for God's plan to work in our life as a, as a couple, um, we have to do it uh, His way, and His way is the only way that's going to work. Um, I know, you know, many people uh, have discouraging or look down on marriages, but we just continue to trust God and um, in our everyday life and take one day at a time. Uh, we cannot yeah. rush it. Uh, we can't worry about tomorrow. But just take one day at a time. Yeah. And I would just like to say it's very important to always keep God first, you know, as a godly marriage and our marriage. Um, speaking for ourselves, we got just got to always put God first and just keep him as a foundation, our firm foundation. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, the solid rock that we stand on um, to get through our daily Christian journey. Mm-hmm. And one thing we do believe in is um, is family prayer. Family prayer, um, praying um, every night together, um, and, and just you know, because we realize that that prayer is what keeps us together. And man, like the word tells us, man ought to always pray and, and faint not. And that's what we truly believe in is is prayer, um, even before we. Uh, travel, whether it's, you know, long distance, we pray because yeah. prayer is the key. You know, faith is what unlocks the door. Yes, prayer changes things, you know, get through our daily life. Prayer is important and it's really about having a relationship with God and talking to God daily. You know, you don't have to be on your knees to pray, you mm -hmm. know, that's important. But sometimes you just pray while you're at work. You pray while you're driving. Pray. You're just talking to God and, you know, telling him about your day, telling him your thoughts, asking him to protect you, lead you, and guide you. It's very important to have that communication in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And having that communication between us. Yeah. Um, it takes communication. Yeah. Um, not, not, you know, people say, well, I ain't got to tell this person where I'm going, or I ain't got to, I'm, I'm on my own, I can get in my car. But you and I know anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can happen. You can be traveling down the road. You may know somebody that have left home and, and never made it back. Or yeah. somebody may have left home and went missing, and they're still looking for them. So communication is, is a key. Communication, yeah. you got to communicate. You got to communicate. I know you may be saying, oh, y'all knew, y'all don't know. But we know communication <laughs> is the key. It, it's yeah. bonding. Not, oh, she always wanting to know my business or, or he always wanting to know my business. But communication, that, that cuts out the hands of the enemy. Yeah. 
yeah. to me the mouth of the enemy saying things and oh yeah I saw him over here or I saw her no no I know where my wife is or or you know where your husband is yeah. you know the communication is the key yes I think it's very important to communicate with one another um, <clears throat> for instance my husband may be a little late from work or something one day and he'll let me know hey I'm gonna be a little late or I may say I'm going to the store or just that each other know where you're going. It's not like you have to answer to one another, mm-hmm. but it's that respect and love for one another mm-hmm. that you communicate with one another. Mm-hmm. And the word, the key word that she said, I, I, I just noticed is, is respect, having respect for each other. Yeah. We, we know what God has put in place and, and far as, you know, man is the head, but it's respect for each other. Yeah. We, you know, I know I'm the head of the house, but I don't walk around and and say, "Well, I'm the head of the house." Okay, nobody. No, it's respect for each other. Yeah. You know, my wife is not a a floor mat. You know, and and I don't you know just walk all over and stuff like that. But we respect. We we teach our our children to respect. Yeah. Um. That's that's very important. Yes, and also it's very important to love one another with God's agape love mm-hmm. and that's just not any type of love that's a sacrificial type of love and that's the type of love that Jesus gave us mm-hmm. where we didn't deserve it but he died on the cross for our sins because he loved us so he sacrificed his life God sent his only begotten son to die on the cross just for us we didn't deserve it we weren't worthy of his love but he said I love you so much that I'm going to die just for you mm-hmm. that you may have everlasting life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that you have that opportunity so in a godly marriage it's very important to be intentional and to choose mm-hmm. to love each other with God's agape love mm-hmm. even when you don't feel like it even when you just feel like they don't deserve that type of love they may have done you wrong you may have unforgiveness in your heart no matter what the situation you have to forgive each other you have to love and choose to love each other even when you don't feel like it. Mm-hmm. and even jesus said tells the husband love your wives as christ loves the church and you and i know christ do love the church yes. that's why he laid down his life yes. for our sins he didn't do no wrong he was an innocent man but he went through. He said, take this cup. He asked his father, take this cup from me. And he yeah. said, he realized his father wasn't going to take that cup that he was drinking from, that, that cup of pain, the agony pain. He said, that's when Jesus realized and said to his father, um, well, not my will, but let your will be done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's very important to just, Remember God in your marriage to always put God first and just to really, it's very important even before marriage to have that relationship individually with God. Um, It's very important because when you get into a godly marriage, Mm -hmm. that relationship needs to continue to grow and it's, you know, trying times may come, you know, it's not always going to be peaches and cream, strawberries and cream or whatever, but when you have that relationship with God, then when you come together in marriage, that relationship with God grows even more. And it's very important to continue to stay close to God and continue growing in that relationship with God. Mm-hmm. That's right. Would you like for us to share how we met or or not? Yes. Okay. okay. We um we found each other on a on a site that's called Christian Mingle. Yeah. Um, we started a page, um, and I had mine for a while, and she had hers um, for a while. And both of us, as we began to talk, when we got to that point of communicating with each other, we was about to give up on yeah. Christian Mingle. Uh, we know that there's some, um, some people that's not real on that uh, site, uh, but... Yes, yeah, came across a lot of weirdos mm-hmm. along the way. <laughs> mm-hmm. Me as well. Um, but but I just felt the urge to say, okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. And yeah. and I, one day I was checking the, the the site out, 
and um, I had a what they call those emojis a wink in my um, inbox yeah. and uh, I responded to the wink and we started communicating yeah. and it's been and God just been taking us um, you know step by step yeah. as we were growing into knowing each other um, asking each other um, questions um, and, and seeing if we you know believe in the same God because there's no yeah. need of um, hooking up with somebody that don't believe in the same God that you believe in. Yeah, um, we have so many questions and just learn each other, learn each other's likes, dislikes, um, learn what, if we have a relationship with God and we just got to know one another. Mm -hmm. But in knowing each other, we can sort of God first mm -hmm. along the way and just continue to pray to God and we sought God together and individually. So that was a key point. Um, that was very important in our relationship and continues to be important today. Mm -hmm. And that's right. I mean, you, you, it, it just don't stop there. God just don't, you know, join you together yeah. and you just sit on the seat of do nothing. It still takes work. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's just like if you want to build a house, construction house, you can call Lowe's and ask them to bring all the wood out there. Yeah. And, and lay it on the ground. But if, if nobody never build the foundation of it, if yeah. no one ever picks up a tool and, and, and cut the wood and, and all of that, that wood and that uh, and that material would just sit out there in the yard and, and, and rot. So yeah. it takes work. It takes work. Yes, yeah, lots of hard work. Um, so I know a lot of people don't really respect marriage, don't really respect or love God. <clears throat> So, and another factor is the enemy. As Christians, we have an enemy, the devil, who seeks to kill. He seeks to destroy and steal from your life. And he hates marriage. He hates godly covenant. Mm -hmm. So, you have to be really prayed up. And like I said, it's very important to have a relationship with God for yourself. Mm -hmm. And to pray individually as well as together. Mm -hmm. um, because the enemy will attack you. You know, you have to have that spirit, you know, about spiritual warfare. You have to have the knowledge of that and know that the enemy is real, uh, real but God is real. And God is always in control. Um, so, you know, that's another study we could get into, of, you know, spiritual warfare um, um, and putting the full armor of God on daily. You know, that's something we can get into later, but that's very important in a godly marriage. Mm -hmm. Because even though we are joined together, it's still an individual walk in Christ. Yes. Because at the end of the day, when, when we leave this world, we're going to be held accountable for what we do as an individual. Um, yes. you, you know, so we have to keep that also, and everybody, everyone has to keep that also in mind, those that are in relationship, yes. that at the end of the day, I'm going to be held accountable for what I do. And like the word says, uh, much is given, uh, much is required. Yeah. Um, he puts things in your hands to do or, or give you desires of your heart, but you still have to put in the work. Yeah. You, you still have to put in the work. You still have to be faithful to God. You got to be faithful to your husband, yeah. uh, to your wife. Um, you, you got to do these things. You just can't. Uh, he can't. He don't want to bless you, and you don't do anything with it. Yes, yes, very important. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for what He is He is doing in our lives. Yes. Um, as a as a marriage couple, uh, we like you said we're growing. We we're newlyweds, and we almost just, married a year now. Almost so a year. We just give God all the glory and all the praise, and mm -hmm. we just thank Him for what He's doing in our life. Mm -hmm. um, so just. We just continue to walk by faith and not sight and just to let God lead us and strengthen us daily. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Um, we thank God for what he's, what he's doing. Uh, we continue, like I said, um, taking mm -hmm. one day at a time. Like the word says, um, Proverbs 18, I think it's 22. Uh, he that findeth a wife, um, findeth a good thing, mm -hmm. and find favor yeah. in God. Yeah. And I looked up that word favor means that he, he he's gonna 
he, he's going to uh, help. He's going to. He loves it. He adore. He adores it. Yeah. Uh, when 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 the when you when God finds favor upon you, you know he he said I'm I want to bless you yeah. because you've done what I asked you to do. You, we want you, God's blessings. That's right. You, you waited on the Lord, like the word said. They that wait upon the Lord, He shall renew your strength. He shall mount you up as wings at an eagle. You yeah. shall run and not be weary. You shall walk. And not faint. Just wait on the Lord. Yeah. Wait on God. And you yeah. waiting on someone. Um, you praying to God for a spouse. Wait on the Lord. Yes. Wait on God. <laughs> just don't get weary. You know, my single season, sometimes you just wonder, like, when will it be my turn? You know, when will God give me my spouse? You know, what have I done to have to wait this long. So just wait on God and know that he's preparing his best for your life. Mm -hmm. Just don't want anybody in your life just to, for the sake of being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But you want God's best. Mm -hmm. And you may have to wait. You may have to shed some tears. But just know that God is preparing someone just for you. If you just wait and just continue seeking God in your single season. Because um, you're going to need that strong relationship with God, especially in a godly marriage. Mm -hmm. and, and don't let your friends, don't let your family rush you into something. You know, yeah. oh, you need to hurry up. Yeah. Oh, you running out of time. <laughs> yeah, but I'll um, do that. Oh, yeah, you getting old. Oh, you ain't going to be able to have no kids if you don't, you don't hurry up. And yeah. just wait on the Lord. Wait on God. And, and even if you have a relationship, a past relationship that you um being hurt, look at that opportunity of learning experience. Yes, yes. Learn from it. Learn from that. Yes. And, and it ain't always, you know, their fault. Sometimes it can be you. And you say, Lord, help me. Yes. What did I do anything wrong in my past relationship? Help me to be better for my future. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. God, you know, he's a consumer of fire as well as living waters. Um, just ask him to search your heart. You know, that's scripture. Search your heart and ask God if there's anything within your heart that's not like him. And he'll help you. He'll help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You thank God for if, if that's it or you have anything else. That's about it. I just want to say just continue putting God first. Continue seeking God. Um, I hope that this podcast message has encouraged you, empowered you, and yeah, anything else you want to say? No. <laughs> Just thank God for you tuning in. Um, like I said, we're going to try to continue this. Um, we're going to try to do on uh, Fridays. Uh, we're going to see, you know, what our schedule will be. If uh, we see, uh, we would love your, your feedback on yeah. our first uh, yeah, episode, episode one. one. So. Um, if you would like more, um, if you would like for us to talk about something, um, leave leave you in the comments. Yeah. Um, let us know. Let us know, y'all. Uh, we'll talk about it. If there's a scripture that you would like for us to talk about, um, leave it in the comments. Like, share, comment. Um, you know, let people know yeah. um, that there's a, a, a new podcast out there um, yeah. that, that's talking about relationships. Because you'll hear this podcast on... What Spotify, Spotify uh, iHeartRadio, mm -hmm. uh, Apple Podcasts, um, it's on my YouTube page. Um, you can look me up um, and, and find yeah. and, and Spreaker, Spreaker dot com uh, is where I have where I start off my podcast. You can listen to it there. Um, you can share it from there. Yeah. Um, listen it to you. Listen to it on your daily walk. Um, yes, tune in, tune and, in. And um, also, those who are watching this video, um, just hit that red subscribe button. And also, you all can find me. I have a channel. Mm -hmm. It's called Tay, T-A-E, Preciosa. And that's really, that's Spanish uh, for precious. So, P-R-E-C-I-O-U-S-A. Um, so just type that in and you'll find me there. Hit that red subscribe button as well. And if you're listening on Spotify or any other of the links, uh, websites that we mentioned, go ahead and follow and support. 
comment down below you know like my husband's mentioned what you would like us to talk about next any video ideas or podcast message ideas just let mm -hmm. us know and yeah it's all free you don't have to pay a dime yeah just listen enjoy um join us on this journey yeah Hallelujah. Join us on this yes, journey. Yes, join us, y'all. Walk in Victory Podcast. May you be empowered. Yes. May you be uplifted. May you be encouraged. And may you begin to start walking in victory. That God has, want, that he wants you to walk in victory and just have a victorious life, a blessed life, where you continue to grow in him. Amen. We thank you. God bless you. Have a blessed rest of the night. And let us know again. Comment, like, share, hit that subscribe. notification, yes. subscribe, hit that notification bell. We love you and we thank you. Love y'all. <laughs>